uh, Graham Bradley already opened up a lead of about three lengths over Black Amber in second. Black Amber being followed by Devil's Valley, also right up there too. Very prominent as they come to the next. The second, my young man from Black Amber and lost a bunch, little peck there by Nartel. Aldino jumped a little bit to the right at it. First of the ditches, my young man, Black Amber, lost to the bunch. Devil's Valley nearly went there. Glenny jumped it well just behind him, and Young Ben's going fast towards the outside. Nartel comes next. Behind them, Redundant Pal and High Nolan Aldino, as my young man comes to the next. Number four of the 12 fences in all about two lengths clear of Black Amber, who jumps its second last to the bunch, and then Devil's Valley and Young Ben's, and then comes Uncle Lenny. Behind uh, Uncle Ernie is Nartel, Redundant Pal, and High Knoll, and finally Aldino. My young man, by about a length and a half from Black Amber, a gap of about five lengths then to last of the bunch, who has Young Bents on his outside, Devil's Valley in the inner and between horses is Uncle Ernie going supposedly, and behind them Nartel. And then High Knoll, Redundant Pal, and finally Aldino. Black Amber goes right up to join and pass my young man now as they race towards the first on the back stretch number five it'll be of the 12 fences black amber in the lead from my young man last of the bunch then devil's valley then uncle ernie and young benson now tell a mistake by high knoll there redundant pal and then aldino black amber comes to the sixth in the lead and they're all safely over that there aldino is trailing coming to another ditch now second of the three ditches black amber Lands in the lead. My young man, still second, last of the bunch, third, four on the outside, is Young Bents, five out, and then Uncle Ernie. Behind Uncle Ernie is Redundant Pal, and then Nartel. They've got plenty to do, as Black Amber has a four to five length advantage now from last of the bunch, who goes second. Uncle Ernie making good progress with Young Bents. Racing now towards the next. Four from home. Black Amber, the leader, from last to the bunch who dumps it second. Young Ben's third, four. And far from out of it is Uncle Ernie. Racing towards the third last now. Last to the bunch, the leader, from Young Ben's. Black Amber and Uncle Ernie getting closer all the time. Last to the bunch. Over on the far side, Young Bents and Uncle Ernie coming there towards the stand side. Last of the bunch, Young Bents and Uncle Ernie, these three. They land almost together. Last of the bunch on the far side, Uncle Ernie producing a great run towards the near side. It's last of the bunch now as they come to the final. Final ditch from Uncle Ernie. Last of the bunch and Uncle Ernie. Uncle Ernie landed in the lead there from last of the bunch. Uncle Ernie really quickening now under Mark Dwyer. Bidding for a Jimmy Fitzgerald double as he comes down now towards the final fence, but Young Bents renewing his challenge on the near side. Young Bents takes it up again. Young Bents goes to the front by two lengths from Uncle Ernie. He's wandering about a bit, but he looks as though he's only got to jump it. Young Bents jumps it clear of Uncle Ernie, third last of the bunch, and racing up towards the line, and Young Bents is going to win this in great style under Logan Wah. Young Ben strides to the line, the comfortable winner of the Penny Jouet Novices Chase. Second is Uncle Ernie and third last of the bunch and four, High Knoll and five. And the 